This is the Channel 3 News. The work continues, but now it seems some Vermonters won't see power restored until next week. And the rocking chairs, rocking in Liverpool, rocking in the home of the Beatles. A Vermont band is preparing to follow the footsteps of the Beatles. That story is coming up later. We're also going to tell you why there was a gathering of secessionists. Beatlemania in the Granite State. Up next, meet the rocking chairs and find out what their connection is to the Fab Four. A band called the Rocking Chairs from Bath, New Hampshire is taking their act overseas. And they're going to be hitting the same stage in Britain that another group did when they were discovered, the Beatles. Nicole Oliverio has the story. One, two, one, two, three. Rock and roll is for everyone. Especially those young at heart. And the rocking chairs are living proof that you're never too old to dream. Dream come true. I've been thinking about this since I was 12. This cover band started by chance. Uh, we like the same kind of music and hey, you play drums. Hey, yeah, I've got a guitar. And uh, Jim picked up a bass and, and suddenly was very good at it. And have been offered the chance of a lifetime. They were invited to open for a popular band in Liverpool, England, more specifically on Matthew Street, the same place the Beatles were discovered. We were playing the same stages that they did way back when they were discovered. I was in fourth grade when uh, the Beatles were on Ed Sullivan, and it, uh, it had a huge impact on me. Such a big impact that years later, the group still considers themselves Beatles fanatics. <laughs> Now they're hoping to strike a chord with their European audience. We don't know where it's going to go, and, and we're, we're kind of not really worried about that. But in the end, these 50-year-old rockers will continue to roll with their potential new success. Nicole Oliverio, Channel 3 News, Bath, New Hampshire. Good attitude. The band leaves next Tuesday for nearly a week's stay in Britain. They're also releasing a CD of their music for new fans of the rocking chairs. They're pretty good. Mick Jagger's way older than that, so <laughs> <laughs> they got lots of time left.